The topic of this video is determining the domain and range of a graph. Let's look at our problem. Okay, so we have a graph here, and you probably already noticed the thick orange dashed line here. This is a vertical asymptote, and that's telling us what our black curve is doing. So as we travel along our black curve from right to left, we are going up, but we are also going to the left because we are forever approaching but never reaching this asymptote, this orange dashed line. Okay, so let's jump right in here and let's go ahead and do our domain and range process. Domain is the part of the black curve that is farthest to the left. In other words, the point on the black curve that is closest to the left border. That would be this point right here. Okay, closest to the right, the part of the black curve that is closest to this border, that would be here. Can we trace a path from left to right without picking up our marker? The answer is yes, watch. So this means we get all of the x values from the leftmost point to the rightmost point. There's no gaps in the middle. Okay, so we just need to figure out then what number should we use to represent these? Well. We learned in a previous video that when a curve goes all the way to the outer edge, we are to assume that there is an arrow there. So there's an arrow here, and there's an arrow here. So we need to figure out for domain, what is represented by these arrows? Well, let's see if we can figure that out. This arrow right here is pointing up and left. Which one do we care about for domain? Left. So this arrow is actually representing a negative infinity. There's just one problem. It wants to get to negative infinity, but there's something blocking its path, and that would be this asymptote. Where is the asymptote located? What is its numerical value? Well, if it was sitting over here, it would be 2, and if it was sitting over here, it would be 1, but it's sitting right over here, so its numerical value is 0. So this is going to be 0 for our domain. The asymptote acts as a barrier, preventing a line or curve from getting to infinity or negative infinity. In this case, it's trying to get to negative infinity, but it can't because it is stopped by the asymptote at zero. All right, can this arrow get to infinity? The answer is yes, it's going to the right forever. There's no asymptote blocking its path. And so we can write infinity. Now, what about the symbols that go next to us? Do we include zero? Well, the answer is no. An asymptote is a barrier that you never reach. This asymptote is at zero, which means we never reach zero. We get as close to zero as we can without actually reaching it. So we use a parenthesis to exclude zero. And then, of course, infinity and negative infinity always get the parenthesis symbol. All right, now we turn our attention to range. If domain is a measure from left to right, range is a measure from down to up. So interestingly, we're going to have the same two points because this point right here represents the point farthest down. This right here represents the point farthest up. And we can trace a path from the lowest point to the highest point by moving along our graph without picking up our marker. So. What two arrows is this direction pointing? Right and down. Which one do we care about for range? Down. So this is negative infinity. Negative infinity. This arrow is pointing up and left. Which one do we care about for range? Up. So this is representing positive infinity, and we have all the values in between. So our range is negative infinity, comma, infinity. Now, if everything I just said made perfect sense to you, you can stop this video now. But if you're still having trouble understanding why is it zero, then let's use this teaching tool that I shared with you earlier in this video series to help you understand this concept. All right, so I'm going to go back to talking about domain for a minute, which means I'm going to turn my curve back to the black that it was when we started. Domain is a collection of all of the x coordinates. So what that means is, if I pick a point on top of my black curve, 
All I have to do is determine its x coordinate and then add it to my domain. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's pick a point. Let's pick this one. This is the point 1 comma 0. So it has an x coordinate of 1, therefore 1 belongs in the domain. And I will graph that visually by putting it, putting a dot at 1 on my number line. Let's get another dot. Let's get a dot over here. Well, halfway between 1 and 2 would be 1 and a half. So it's looking like this is the point 1 and a half comma something. I don't know what the y coordinate is, but I don't care because I'm measuring domain. So at 1 and a half, I have an x coordinate. And at 2, I have an x coordinate. And at 2 and a half, I have an x coordinate. And in fact, I have x coordinates between all of those values, so I would shade connecting all of these points, and all the way to the arrow, which means all the way to the end. Now, have I graphed my entire curve? No, I still have this part up here. We need to keep going. So for example, this dot right here, what are its coordinates? This would be the coordinate half comma one and a half which means the x value is half. So I have to have a dot down here on my number line for a half. And what about this dot right here? Where is it located? Well, if I drop a line straight down, it looks like that's happening. Remember, this is 0 0.5 here. So maybe that's at about 0 0.4, something like that, just a little bit to the left of a half. So I have a dot here. And I have everything in between those dots. So in between half and 1, I have all those dots. In between 0.4 and 0.5, I have all those dots. And this is going forever. But it's still blocked by the asymptote. 0 is as far as we can go. So we have an open dot at 0. And we have all of these values. This is the reason why the domain goes from 0 to infinity and does not include any values that are over here. There is no part of the graph that is to the left of the y-axis. Therefore, there are no negative x-coordinates. Therefore, our domain goes from 0 all the way to infinity, and we have to have a parenthesis at 0. All right, hopefully that explained that idea thoroughly so that everyone has a solid understanding.